Okay, we're going to talk about how to create a two page spread based on a real magazine. And I went on the internet and I did a Google search for Billboard magazine. I found this PDF and it's a media kit. Usually at the bottom of the media kit, you will get all the information about this magazine, how many subscribers they have, how many followers they have, and on and on. At the very bottom, you're probably going to find the dimensions of all the ads. So as you can see right here under ad specs, it's going to give me the dimensions of my pages. Now be aware of the bleed and the live safe area. What we're looking for is the actual dimension of the paper. In this case, a two page spread is going to be 20 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches in height. The actual area that we're going to see known as the non bleed or the live safe area, it's going to be 19 and a quarter inches by 12 and a quarter inches high. The bleed is the area where we can place the image. And then after it's trimmed, we're going to get these dimensions right here. So we are going to create a file that is 19 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. And we are going to add a bleed area around our image. Now, how you figured out how much of a bleed area you need, it's very easy. So I'm going to select the dimension of the paper, including the bleed, which is 20 and a half by 13 and a half. And I'm going to subtract the non bleed area or the safe area, which is going to be 19 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. Now this number right here is the difference between the bleed area and the non bleed area or the safe area. So what we need to do next is we need to split it in half. So half of it will be on the top and the bottom and half of it will be on the left and the right. So let's do this. Let's go to Illustrator and I'm going to go to file new. So right here I'm going to type in 19.25 and for my height I'm going to type in 12.25 and I'm going to give it a bleed of 0.625 and this is going to go all around our image. Hit OK. Notice that I have the safe area, the non bleed area and then my bleed area goes to this red rectangle right here. So we're going to place our image so that it fits all the way to the bleed area and that is because after we print this we're going to trim this bleed area and we're going to end up with what we see right here, our canvas, which is the actual non bleed area, also known as the safe area. Why we do this is because if you were to place an image right to the edge of your canvas, if the printing paper is not registered correctly or there's slight movement of the paper, when they trim it, you may end up with white lines at the edge of your images. So that's why we put the image all the way into the bleed area and then we trim it. So we have our double spread. The width of my two page spread is 19 inches and a quarter. I have my rulers on the top and on the left. This is where I'm going to get my guides from. Now I want to bring my guide. So I'm going to go to view. This is where I got my rulers from. And I'm going to click on my grid. Here's my grid. My grid is set up to inches. I can change my units in the ruler and I can also change my units in the guide. We have a video that covers everything to do with the guides. And I'm going to make sure that my snap to grid is selected. The reason why is if I create a new guide and again you go to where the ruler is inside and then with your mouse you hold the mouse down and then you drag a new guide. And as you can see as I drag it across my page it snaps on the grid. Let me hide my grid. If I click on my guide there's nothing I can do. That is because this guide is probably locked so I'm going to go to view guides and notice that this is locked. So I'm going to unlock my guides. Now when I select my guide right here I can move it around. It's still snapping in this grid and also notice that right here on the very very top it's giving me a numerical placement of my guide. I'm going from left to right, which is the X, as you can see right here. So I know that the halfway point for this spread is 9.625. And as soon as I hit enter, there's the middle of my page. Next, what I can do, I can go to view and under guides, I can go to lock guides. So there's no way I can select this guide right here. 
let me undo that guides unlock guides also i can select my guide and change its colors so i'm going to select this guide right here and you do that by going to your preferences again there are two places to find our preferences on a mac and on a pc on a mac you go to the word illustrator and you go to your preferences and you bring up your preferences or you can go to this button right here and there are your preferences we are going to go to guides and grid and for my guide i can change this color to whatever i want i'm going to go to cyan hit ok and there you have it again to move the guide just click on the guide and then move it around change its numerical position right here 6.25 and so on